Hey guys, it's Oscar, back for another Shave of the Day recap. Um, just finished my shave a few minutes ago, and I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite ones I've had so far, so far this year. Um, I was lucky enough to meet um, Adam Lindbergh at, first at Damon's house and then at Shave West, Big Shave West, um, and he has a company called Stubble Trouble. They're not a very big company right now, they have an Etsy page um, that has... Um, it, it's listed as seven items, but two of them, I'm not, I'm not sure if he still makes, but, um, cause I think that two of them were updates of older, of, um, initial formulas. But, um, again, I met Adam and his girlfriend at Damon's, um, and they're a young couple out of Houston and we talked for a little bit and, um, and he seems really enthusiastic about what he's doing. So I was very happy to be able to receive a couple samples in a swag bag from the Big Shave West. And this is one of them. Um, so today's shave was with, I smashed it into a container. It was a very generous um, three quarter ounce sample. It was a square sample um, in, a, in a wax paper pouch, very similar to the samples that you get from Soap Commander. And um, and I tell you, this is this is real deal. This is real deal. So I was really excited to, to use this scent. It's called Rhymes with Orange. Um, and uh, just smelling it out of the packet, I said, I am definitely going to use that and I know I'm going to enjoy it. And it did not disappoint whatsoever. So um, I would put this up there with slickness and and the lather. Um, I'd put it up there with, with some of the top performers because um, I really enjoyed it. I got the I got the lather really uh, dialed in, as you might see in the pictures I, I attached in the beginning. But the lather was just voluminous. I mean, I gave it a good 20, 30 second load and um lather it up in the bowl to see how it would kind of lather up and it was it was fantastic and and it was just provided a really slick base and 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 the it just was really enjoyable i was blooming it while i was in the shower and when they came out the bathroom was filled with that it's a very um pronounced zesty and this is how he lists it so i'm not pretending that this is just my idea but he lists it as a zest as a zesty blood orange and i got that zest it was really I don't want to say in your face in an offensive way, but it was it was there. It, it just got you. So you got that. Um, I almost thought tangerine um, grapefruit kind of thing at first, but then that blood orange as as I'm lathering it, as I'm loading it and lathering it, the the scent just just got more pronounced and more pronounced, and and it was very very enjoyable, especially for this time of year with the weather getting warmer and whatnot. Um, so um, stubble trouble, real deal here. He has. Like I said, on the Etsy, on his Etsy page, there's seven um, items, but two of them are kind of repeats. Um, I took a couple of notes. This one was blood orange, and again, he lists it as a zesty, zesty blood orange with um, a little bit of. I can't even read my own writing. With a little bit of mint and. I can't even see what I wrote. Anyway, but the oh. Anyway, with a little bit of mint, and that the mint the mint stuck around a little bit, it, so it gave it a really good cooling sensation. Um, another scent is Praying Mintis. Um, that's listed as gardenia, peppermint, some fresh spring air, and with a menthol kick. But he also has Praying Mintis listed on the Etsy site without the menthol. Um, another one is Pirate Cowboy, which is another sample we got in the swag bag, and I'm excited to use that as well. That... Um, he lists it as Bay Rum with a Wild West kick, but um, doesn't specify. So Bay Rum with a Wild West kick. Um, and another one's called Up and Adam, A-D-A-M, Adam Lindbergh, Up and Adam. And all I can say about this is coffee. Coffee, espresso with some vanilla in it. And that one is listed also with and without a slight menthol kick as well. And finally, one called Yard Work, which uh, he describes as uh, fresh cut Texas grass and um, sweet lemongrass and vetiver. So that um, those are his uh, choices on his Etsy site. And the performance, I'm sure, on all of them is is just amazing. They has, it's purely vegan, and um, the jars come in 5.9 ounces, so six ounces for 12.50. So you I, you can't really beat that price. That's that's like two bucks something an ounce so 
for that much, six ounces, you're not going to use that up anytime soon for twelve fifty. So I highly recommend. Now I don't have the power and the reach that Bailey has, but but when I when he did um, Peter's Lemo Melon, and I believe it was Hedonism, he this was his reaction. Ah, uh, well, that's kind of my reaction with this. This stuff is it gets you if you like citrus, get. Rhymes with orange from Stubble Trouble. Twelve fifty for five point nine ounces of soap. You're not going to use that up anytime soon. Now I wanted to find a matching, a good matching citrus aftershave, and I realized I don't have one. Um, but the closest thing I actually do have was Capri by Folsom. This is more along the Aqua de Parma, um, more along the Aqua de Parma scent profile, which is fine. Um, it's it's pretty citrus forward, and I actually thought it went pretty well. So. That was my shave today, and um, just again representing So Sharp, David. Um, you haven't got, looked at his products? Go to SoSharpLimited.com. Take a look at his shirts and stuff. Very high quality, good merchandise. Also, um, again, that's pretty much it. Just shout out to uh, Adam Lindbergh, Stubble Trouble. Um, I'm glad I was able to meet you and talk with you for a few minutes. And um, your product is top notch. I'll definitely be reaching out for some of that. Um, probably trying out um, another another scent of yours. So I really enjoyed the shave today. It was fantastic. Everything post shave is great. Um, everything feels great. So if you get a chance to check out Stubble Trouble, please by all means do. Um, that's about it. So have a good day.